As technology advances, making more things possible at a lower price point, it also allows new companies to enter industries that were previously in the hands of a few big companies. It's no different when it comes to the film industry. Large studio films are challenged by small production companies, and big camera manufacturers are upstaged by new and innovative camera makers. Smaller companies can also make manufacturing changes faster while at the same time have a more intimate relationship with their customers. Zchem is one such company. The CEO of the company is personally answering questions on Facebook groups and listening to customer requests. This means that the cameras they release are constantly improving along with firmware updates. The first time I dipped my toe in a Zchem line of products was with their E2 camera. That model has a micro four thirds image sensor and can shoot 4K video at up to 160 frames per second. Although I loved the E2 camera, I did find a few negatives that I hoped the guys at Zcam would fix. Well, I'm glad to see that most of the things I had issues with on the Zcam E2 have already been addressed with the release of the F6 model. Small but annoying things like the memory card doors uh, have now been improved and can be easily opened and closed. Also navigating through the menu system and changing settings with those rubber buttons is a thing of the past thanks to the new materials. Uh, the buttons no longer stick and are always react when pressed. Uh, the body of the camera itself is solidly built out of aluminum. Uh, the result is a small and light camera that weighs around 1 kilogram or 2.4 pounds. It is slightly bigger than the E2 camera, but still perfectly designed for mounting it on drones, cranes or gimbals. If you want to use this for prolonged handheld use, uh, you should probably get yourself a cage and a side handle. I recommend the one from Small Rig. Some of the other great things about this camera is the fact that for the first time in a SAP $4,000 camera, we can shoot high quality full frame video with resolutions up to 6K. Now even if you love the full frame look but not the big file sizes associated with 6K video, uh, you can also shoot full frame video that is downscaled to 4K or 1080p without cropping in. On top of that, you can shoot open gate which, when combined with interchangeable PL lens mount, makes this camera a perfect pro tool for anamorphic video. Another amazing thing about this camera, aside from the full-frame 6K sensor, is just how much of a dynamic range this sensor can capture. It's advertised as 15 steps of dynamic range, and even though I didn't put this to a test on a test chart, I can honestly say that this camera handles dramatic dynamic range scenes with ease. It produces lots of details in the shadows while also retaining those crucial highlights. Uh, the flat lag image that comes out of this camera is also easy to grade. It just simply produces beautiful colors and details that I think look very filmic. This camera even has a dual native ISO at 400 and 2500 ISO, which makes it a great tool for capturing low light scenes.
On the back, there are plenty of connections that allow camera control and video streaming through the Ethernet connection. Uh, it can output 4K 10-bit video through the HDMI 2.0 port. Camera can even connect to an iOS device through Wi-Fi to control the camera and to monitor the shots wirelessly. Uh, there are also power in and out ports, a LAN control connection and 5-pin LIMO port for dual-channel XLR microphones. For recording options, you have Apple ProRes and H.265, which both capture 10 bits of color. Now, just a word of caution, some of the higher frame rates are not available if you want to record an Apple ProRes, so you will have to switch to H.265. And while the H.265 codec is very efficient at compressing a lot of data in a small file size, it is not the best codec for editing. And most of my laptops and even some of my higher-end desktop machines can't handle the 6K files in that format that the camera produces. So if you are going to use that codec, I would advise that you convert all of those files to ProRes or another easy-to-edit format once you load the footage uh, to your computer. The camera can also record 12-bit video in the proprietary ZRAW codec, but it is not very user-friendly. These files can't, uh, as of right now at least, be natively edited in any video editing application, so they will also need to be converted to a different codec. Uh, personally, I think it's just too much of a hassle to work with the Zira format for not much added benefit. So for me, I mostly shot in Apple ProRes and sometimes in H.265. Now, if you're wondering what are some of the other things I don't like about the Zcam E2 F6, uh, I would say the RAW codec is the main issue. And another small thing is maybe the lack of a, of a monitor. Uh, of course, not every cinema camera comes with an included monitor. Also, there are a lot of great options for portable on-camera monitors these days to choose from, so it's not really a problem. I just wanted to make people aware uh, who might consider buying this great camera uh, that the monitor, battery, and recording media are a definite added expense. I personally like to use the port keys touchscreen monitor with the Zcam E2 F6 because it allows me to switch the camera settings much faster thanks to its built-in touchscreen and camera control cable. Uh, the monitor also has great monitoring tools and it's very bright. So, in conclusion, what do I think of the Zcam E2 F6 camera? Well, if you want a video camera that can capture pro quality video and high bit rates and also a small form factor, but with a beautiful full frame sensor without spending a fortune, then forget about the RED cameras, Airy cameras, Sony or even the Canons. The Zcam is a perfect companion to my other favorite lines of cameras from Blackmagic. And in fact, I think if Zcam can address the RAW recording format or just simply adopt the B-RAW codec, then I might just drop all of my Blackmagic cameras for the exciting new lineup of cameras from Zcam. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so you can get some free lots and uh, stay up to date with my future video releases. For that, head on over to TomAntosFilms.com. Thanks.